My name is Philips Armand, and English Armand, on the British is English. I was in the 1st Battalion, volunteer in Korea, with Roger, Roger my friend. Eh? And we make the, the meeting was in Belgium, Korea a Battalion to go to Korea. The UN, United Nations, asked uh, one battalion complete. But Belgium has never can come to the, to the number of 650 men, like the English. They only had six, 600, 700 people, but one fourth of it is administration. Fighters was not enough, it was 500 and and the other, the English, were 800. The Belgium was in, in a light force to go. Then we made uh, the prepare to, to go, to come in Korea, like Roger said, so on the dates. Eh? And began uh, Pusam, Pusam. We stay a little while in Pusam, and then we go higher and higher. Eh? On the way, we, yep, we make a, with, the, with the American army, but Belgium, Belgium army has uh, British weapons and equipment, all British, and the Lee Enfield rifle, and <laughs> all the ones. Because, uh, the U.S. could not take the Belgians to put them with them, because you can no give the ammunition and, and to put your gun away and take another one. There was a diplomatic difference over there. And after the engine is over going to the Americans. Roger has, I was away in this moment. Then we do this the same way, Busan, higher up to the, the 38. Uh, frontier eh, on the engine, eh? and that you know, you know that. Eh? And on under the way, under the way, we have uh, uh, made an exercise and uh, looking for the invasion of the Chinese soldiers. When the Belgians were on the boat, the Chinese, not not the North Koreans, eh? there was one somewhere, something we never see. I never see the North North Korea. Was China? China was behind it, and uh, they were come to Seoul. Seoul, the bombardment of Americans. Seoul, Seoul was uh, completely horizontal. Eh? No, no people over there. And the Belgian battalion takes over the Han River to platoon with the platoon to to look if the enemies were there. Said, uh, but the Chinese were, were away, they were going. And we never know why. And we did a night patrol over the engine. And my platoon commander, the lieutenant, was the leader. And I stayed with the others on the other side. They stand, spend the night over there. And when they come, come back, they, they was watching on a, on a land mine. And uh, the Chinese have the little uh, dynamite box uh, in, on the, the Han River, eh, on the side, for the tanks, the uh, tanks. And that is with the, with, the, with the wire to a big one, two kilo and a half dynamite. And uh, the, the, the tanks of America has changed, changed before. They, they clean the little bomb, eh? they can, but the, the big bomb was here and the little one there, five meters. When the little bomb sprang, is with the chains. But the other two and a half kilo dynamite was under the tank. It's smart, <laughs> smart. And my platoon commander was leader there. Eh? And he was 
flowing eight, ten meters in the, in the ground. Our commander of the company was dead, and two or three American officers. And the, and the tank was finished too. On that moment was I platoon commander, as sergeant, sergeant first class. It was in the company C, it was uh, platoon A, B and C. Roger was in platoon, platoon B or C, B or C. No, no platoon, I was in one platoon and I was uh, second in command. I, I make a uh, platoon something to say, <laughs> but after was platoon commander as first sergeant, sergeant first class. And all the time from the engine and that I stayed and on the engine, I, I got a shot. But now I, I just will finish it with the, 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 the battle of the engine. When we come on the Imjin River, in Pan was was uh, was a peace making, come uh, on start uh, We must still stay on, on the way on this side of the Imjin. But the, the British have let go of the Belgium on the other side, and there was a bridge uh, over with uh, a military bridge uh, Imjin River. And they put the Belgians on the hill, something, and there was a platoon. Rogers was on the right, I was in the center, and another, another group was a platoon, and three. And uh, we have uh, communication with uh, the radio and uh, telephone, uh, booby traps and all the things, uh, wires, like in Belgian army, uh, for the protection. Then the invasion was coming. Uh, and in the night, uh, the battalion commander, the colonel, said they will not come now because they have need two days to come from higher than, than the engine, eh? higher up, Pyongyang or somewhere. We have time to, to, to make the, the defense here. But the Chinese were very quicker there, then we have, we have not finished the thing. And uh, the Chinese, when the Belgian battalion of a platoon, we are uh, maybe 90, 90 persons over there, the Chinese come maybe by thousand on, on the hill. And we get surrounded by, by the Chinese. And, uh, then my platoon commander was coming back over there, he gave the, the commander over, he was again shot, got a bullet in the, in the middle. And then was I platoon commander, and I said, in a moment, they have no more ammunition. The day and the night, shooting always, grenade, uh, no, no more much, uh, uh, blessé, wounded, wounded a lot of the people, but not, 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 uh, not heavy. And I said, in a certain moment, is one corporal come with his uh, the, the machine gun. He say, I joined, I joined, he say, I joined to the platoon, always they call me I joined. Yeah? But I was oh, <laughs> commander of the platoon, but it was just a, he comes away and I see it in the in the, the slit range. Was when you go was around and made the connections with the place from the, with the man. When you go up to come to the center, you still you have no more in cover. And one of the corporals comes with the machine gun and say, I think it's no more good, etc. etc. Et and I Run with him and say, say, go back. Yeah? And I give him a, <laughs> a stamp <laughs> and he's falling again. And then let me look on my left, there was a little horse with an officer, a North Korean, North Korean or Chinese. <laughs> and two men with a prop gun, a little prop gun, they call it prop gun. Yeah? So, and, uh, and one of the men is turned, those of the they were all, all coming up, up, up the hill. He makes a fat brrrt. One, on the moment I gave a shot to the other, 
Ik geef hard en ik heb de bullet hier. En ik kom zo uit, hier. Hij gaat mijn mouth open, mij doet uh, weg. <laughs> maar hij gaat wonderd. En dan. Uh, dan, a little bit before, mijn persoon te wandelen, was. Uh, ik had. Uh, was wonderd. Ik is 90 kilo. Ik is een heel heavy. Ik was een big man. Hè? Met vier soldiers tegen hem away in de tent. We geven hem een shot. Hè? Ik kan het nog maar doen. Ik no, kan het nog no maar maken dan dat, want er was een war aan. <laughs> en hij had gemaakt over de, de people. En everybody asked you, ammunition, ammunition, no more. En de British hebben een basic load, de double. Leave it there, we take over. Met de ammunition hè, stays, because we have the same. Dus we hebben een double ammunition. En on the night, after the night, was no more ammunition. It was shooting all the night, all the night. En uh, we, we uh, take the, the officer in the tent, he uh, gave him a shot. En uh, I take the proton over. When I was shot, I asked the, the oldest uh, uh, Sergeant, Pauls, Rosé, I know very good, he knows. I gave the command over and I say to him, rejoin the company staff. Because in the war, if you give over command, you must give it the order of you continue, because there's no more ammunition. And the company was on the right side. And I said, you go back to the company. En er was een mistaak en ik weet wat er gebeurt. Hij is op in mm-hmm. paniek. Hij schoot een grenade. Hij mm-hmm. zei tegen de man, volg me. Maar dat betekent, volg me. Maar ik vertel hem, je gaat naar de company. Dat is in de the, orders. Het is schrijving. Als je niet de order doet, ga je naar de punish. And we have uh, two years in the, in the school. We know what we have to do and not to do. And he was in the same school as me. And he said, follow me. And he ran to the staff, of it, to the engine. And the colonel put him away and put the people back. And at the time, we must evacuate the officer, the fellow man. And he don't want to go. He stand up. And he's falling on the way somewhere in the corner. And I was not shot at this moment. And a bit later, I give over the orders. And I go. And the people say, we go with you, chef, etc. No, no, I go. Say, I'm finished. I got with the bullet. I and I see my officer in the, in the gate somewhere. En de jeep met de dokter en de pastor. Ik was running to look for the. was maybe 500, 600 meters after that. En I, I see him. En I go. Ik ga even look for him. Ik zeg, ik kan. Ik kon het tegen, maar ik was wonder toe, dat bullet hier. En ik zie de jeep van de dokter en ik go. En when I was on the jeep, I had a commotion. En ik zei. Benoit is over there, the officer. And they get him, they, they haven't found him. And they gave me a paper from France later, Roger has it. I, I have so his life of this moment. Because they say to the doctor, he is Benoit là. Benoit is there, my officer. Right. And they put him. And we were in the same in, 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 in Taigu, in the hospital. Uh, with, a, with a helicopter, he was on the left side and uh, the right to the mash uh, of the uh, mash, and then we go to Taigu in the hospital in Korea, it's in South South Korea, I found. <laughs> still Korea. And uh, from Korea, there was a wonder, could not show it, must go to Japan. And he was going to Japan too, but no, he didn't know, not to say in the same plane. 
And then Japan, I see him back. He was come to visit to me. It's the bullet was in here and how there's nothing Dutch on the inside. There was a second uh, wounded for him. Eh? And I was there with the colonel, Croye, too, when he came and visit. I said, thank you, you a good job, etc. You see, uh, uh, when I salute and this and that. <laughs> uh, maybe a paper later. Maybe. I stayed four months in, in Tokyo because it was very. And uh, I caught the bullet, I had my tooth, I go in, in here. It was in my, in my right ear, was amber fluid, they call it, here, and it was always... And there was uh, a Japanese doctor, very old, but uh, was uh, used to, to see, you know, the Japanese always have been in the war, eh? was one of the doctors. And a major, a black man, a Negro, a major. One of the first highest officers I see in my life. Eh? He was major, a big one. And the Japanese, the Japanese, the whole doctor said we must do this one, you know. And they gave me a shot, go to the the room, eh? and there was with the sang a pump, put with a needle, goes in the ear to the place <laughs> and they put the amber fluid out three times, going back to the room mm -hmm. and, and then four months in the hospital. And a couple of time after was better and could going out. Eh? Maybe dancing or promenade, etc. But the doctor said to me, pay attention, the woman, it's not good for you. Eh? So why? why? <laughs> and I, 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 uh, I have to do, I do what he said to me. Eh? Well, that's my story, just in Japan. So were and you then, able to fully recover? What? Were you able to fully recover? Yes, they said there was a, was a hole here and a hole there here under the... But they... Re put, put, you your, re put your finger here. Push, push. Feel it. Ask them. I was given order. And the bullet is... <laughs> but now you are okay. No, it's better. I don't even know where here the ear is to 10%. 10% of it. Mm. It always look like this. <laughs> And did you go back to fight? No, no, I must absolutely go to Belgium with the, with the, the, the first uh, boat. Eh? Mm. And it was a British boat. Uh, we stay 14 days in Hong Kong. Mm. And then we go further into Liverpool. In Liverpool, England, eh? in a plane, in DC-3, eh? mm. go to Brussels. Mm. And my, my parents were over there, my friends. Eh? It was a homecoming, like everybody. Yes. Did I you volunteer? Did you volunteer? Yes, I was. Why? I, mm. I was uh, in the military school for non-commissioned officers mm. because there was no more for all young officers after the war. The, the school, the, the, the school of the cadets, they know we call it, was for all young people as Menorah, eh? the, the the school, eh? uh, that was not the exist, but the, the, the non-commissioned officers was open. Mm. Sergeant and the adjutant, etc. And I go in and visit. And when, when it is over, I go to the paracommando eh, in Belgium, parachutist, the commando, eh, and, was, and, and then instruction by the commandos in Belgium. Eh? And the first time that the Korean War was announced in volunteers, I always say, I am in the army, I know very good the rules. Huh? Justice or no justice, <laughs> that's no good, that I can do this and that. But the action of the war, we don't know what it was. We have seen it in the film, like the cowboys. Said the Korean War has come, I said, I go. Not against the Chinese of Korea, but it's for 
to learn something. When you have 18 years, 19 years, then you open for the life. Eh? And then we are come here together. Eh? We know each other in Leopoldburg in Belgium. And we were in the same, the same company. You came, you came, you went and you came back wounded. Did you regret that you went? No, no, I got the pension for it. <laughs> I'm a neighborhood war invalid, and a big one, mm. more than 50 percent. <laughs> it's only the good I have to hold on that. Eh? Then I was married, etc. I have a little boy, I lost, lost my mm. wife seven years now. I'm alone mm. in the house. I got a, a grandson and a son. I have no, no many contact. Good, mm -hmm. eh? it's okay, but I'm uh, better alone with my little dog. I, and I loosen in that week, a week before, number four, that I'm still a little bit mm -hmm. sad because there was no more there. I was only alone, uh, only, uh, alone eh? and now I don't see him anymore. I get this photograph and, uh, mm -hmm. and that's my life. Did you and go? Then we what have did... you write a, a book over what we do in Korea mm -hmm. and how, how was the beginning? And I gave two books on the on the other uh, when the embassy was on the other side in Brussels. Maybe in the bibliotheque uh, you can find uh, the book. Is maybe stay over there. There is a book over the Imjin van the company C or company. I said, I have uh, still two or two at home. And you... But if you want to know more in detail, it's in the book. Okay. Uh, it's, it's and you... One, one season in Korea. Because we still stay three or four months. Ah, the wounded, eh? And then the, the platoon, the platoon was... Eh? You put the table in the other platoons. <laughs> and the commander was liquid, and me too, was, was finished. And then the reorganization, mm -hmm. and then there's the stopping on, on the engine, etc. Last question. You revisited Korea. How did you feel? I will do it with Roger. We go together it's three or four years ago, and we are still candidate to go. But the, the nationalists against... How did you feel? How did you feel when oh, you... Oh, I was... I can't explain this. It was special. Really. Special was in... Uh, in uh, uh, with the... the with the dead, the dead are... Um, I had to put some over there. Then, uh, then I have contact with... Uh, the Korean uh, parachutists, the special forces, they gave a demonstration. Something made more better than the Belgians. Eh? The karate karate, all the thing. It was very fine with the military. And Rogers was the spokesman on the table uh, the, with the big, the big boss over there. Mm -hmm. And then we had the medal, the decoration. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yes, that was very fine. Very good. But the boss, the best man over there is was he. Mm. He knew everything over Korea. It's four years over there. Yes. But you must even to uh, ask if it's not possible in the, the library. Uh, you have a with books. Maybe you find the book over there. It's one season in Korea. Uh, une saison en Korea. It's with French. Huh? Okay. I give two, two. Uh, maybe it's... The, the officer 